Yo, what is up, Jim Ballers? It is me, Jim Balls, back again uh, with another video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Billboard 200 Greatest Hip Hop Albums of All Time. Uh, hip hop's been around for a while, probably close to like 40 years, if you're including like hip hop from like the early 80s when rapping was like skip bop a skibbity bap i'm funky on the mic and they know i can rap like shit like that so yeah let's see what's on this list let's see if my favorites are going to be up on here my personal favorite hip-hop album of all time probably some rap songs by earl sweatshirt though i really don't know if we're going to see this on this list because i feel like rolling stone's probably not going to be the biggest fan of some more experimental and uh abstract hip-hop but hey maybe maybe they'll surprise me but yeah some of my other favorite all time should definitely be on here like Illmatic, College Dropout, Mad Villainy, they should all be on here. Probably some Outcast as well, MF Doom, probably Soldier Boy as well should be on here. So yeah, we'll we'll see what's on this list. Let's go through it pretty quickly. I'll probably skip over all like the albums I haven't listened to. So which might be a lot actually. Yeah, we'll see some Run DMC to Playboy Cardi gonna be on the list. All right, so yeah, a bit excited. Let's get into it. Number 200, Travis Scott, Astroworld. Uh, I saw people on Twitter whining about it, like, hey, Travis Scott should be higher. Honestly, it's probably not a bad spot for it at number 200. It is my favorite Travis Scott album, but I'd probably only give it like a 7 out of 10, let's be honest. Uh, Juice World, decent pick. Rest in peace to him. Freddie Gibbs, Bandana. What? Only number 197. This should definitely be like top 100 bro for, that's what we're talking about like what some asap rocky okay that's a decent classic pick oh shout out to space goes burp too okay pop smoke i really i'm not the biggest fan of pop smoke Drake of the ruler bit of an interesting pick there it's probably his best album too nipsey hustle okay now they're just doing like shout out all the dead dudes right now <laughs> dude like Shout out Juice World, bro. Shout out Pop Smoke and Draco and Nipsey. Like, shout out all the dead dudes. You can make it on the list. Saba? Man, this album was boring as fuck. How's it on the list? What? Scoochie! Little Sims. Okay. I like the... That's a decent recent pick, although it should probably be higher on the list. I'd probably say, like, top 100. Freestyle Fellowship. That's actually a decent... That's nice. Grave Diggers. Let's fucking go! This shit, this shit goes, bro. This should definitely be higher. I'd probably say, like, probably top 80 should definitely be. Cameron, he got that gangsta swag. Uh, okay. Flo Millie. Flo Millie? Yeah, I mean, we're talking about 200 albums. That's a lot of albums, but I mean, still Flo Millie? Nah, bro. This shouldn't be top 200. <laughs> Mac Hami, interesting. Uh, probably not my favorite Mac Hami record, but I saw a bunch of people were fucking with this one, so... Honestly, not a bad pick. I'm okay with that. Polo G. I mean, if you wanted to put in like some like recent rappers that, I mean, you can, you can find better shit than Polo G. Fucking Piano G. Come on, get this shit out of here. Big L. They got a dude named Big L on here. What is this? What is this? This list is a fucking joke. Okay, I got some Danny Brown, Triple X. Decent pick. Definitely not his best album though. We better see a Atrocity Exhibition later on here. Otherwise, I'm going to be upset. Nah, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Ray Shremmerd and Lil Nas X Montero. Bandana should be higher than this. Danny Brown should be higher than these. These these should not be top 200 all time, bro. Yeah, they each have like their fun singles. I don't hate both of them, but I mean, they're both like extremely mid. We're talking about like best al rap albums of all time, bro. We're not talking like best rap albums of the last like decade. I mean, if you, if, I mean, if you wanted to put these on the list, put them back towards like 200. Like, yeah, like... Now I see why, like, the Travis Scott fans are upset, because, like, yeah, Astroworld's fucking better than these two albums. What? Got some roots? Okay. DJ Screw, rest in peace. Okay, now we're getting some good picks. Run the Jewels, Run the Jewels 2. Uh, that's probably the best Run the Jewels. Black Sheep. A lot of people consider this to be a uh, pretty classic. I honestly heard it and think it's kind of meh. I'd, I'd probably put it lower on the list. Common B. This should be higher on the list, bro. What? How's this only at 145? What? The... Eternal a take. You're saying eternal a take is better than common B Co Like if you want to why eternal a take? Why eternal a take? Why do you want to pick like his worst fucking album? Like pick any other Lil Uzi Vert album to be on here other than eternal a take. Like this is like his worst album. What? Doja Cat Planet Her. Yeah, I'm starting to see why the <laughs> the Travis Scott fans were upset. Doja Cat's like mid as fuck, dude. Like this is this is the pick for like the 15 year old Twitter girl that's gonna see this this list and be like, where's Doja Cat? Where's Doja Cat? <laughs> oh, this album's not best 200 all time. Come on, Killer Mike. Okay, that's a decent pick. 
I mean, I personally don't like J. Cole, but I mean, J. Cole, I mean, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of J. Cole. I mean, at least they didn't overrate them. At least they didn't put this like top 20 or something. If you want to do 130 for your J. Cole, sure, that's fine. Ghostface Killer, this shit schmacks. Whole lot of red. Uh, okay. I honestly fuck with Whole Lot of Red. I liked it, but for being honest, Die Lit is better than Whole Lot of Red. And we're probably not going to see Die Lit on this list, so. I'd honestly do a little little swap there. Savage Mode? Bro, pick, put Savage Mode 2 on here. What? What is up with them picking, like, the worst album of, like, recent artists? Like, they picked Lil Uzi's worst album. They picked, picked like, 21 Savage's, like, most mid-album. Like, Savage Mode 2 washes the original Savage Mode. Like, Drake, if you're reading this, it's too late. This is Drake's best, so we're probably going to see a different Drake album. Probably, like, top 40 or something, but... Uh, this should probably be higher, honestly, if we're talking about where Drake should be. We're talking about this is the best Drake album, so. Speaker Box, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, if this is at 124, then probably like top 100, we should see like Atelians, Equemini, and like, what, uh, Stankonia. Souls of Mischief, okay, that's solid. Young Thug. I'm more of a Young Thug, like, song guy rather than album. I'm not a huge fan of, like, a specific Young Thug album, but he's got some bangers, so. I mean, yeah, Young Thug's influence. I mean, yeah, he should probably be somewhere on this on this list. Bastard? Bastard? No, oh, dude. This is, like, one of Tyler's worst albums, for being honest. Like, what, we better see, like, Igor, Wolf, Flower Boy on here. If you're gonna put Bastard on here, like, what? Bismarcky going off. A little surprised to hear this. I actually heard this album, like, a couple of days ago. No joke. I just heard this for the first time. Yeah, he's got the song Pickin' Boogers, where he raps a whole song about pickin' boogers. So, I mean, I guess if you want to put him on here, he's some funny, classic hip-hop, so... Okay. Push a T, Daytona. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'd honestly put it like higher, honestly. I'd, I'd, I'd probably be in like my top 50, maybe even like top 20 all the time. Uh, shit's super tight. It bangs. Old Dirty Bastards. Let's go. Carter 2. Finally got some Lil Wayne on the list. Uh, Carter 2 is probably my favorite Lil Wayne. Uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, if we see some more of him. Probably will. Clips. Got some more Push a T representation. Uh, should probably be higher on the list. This shit smacks though. Kid Cudi, uh, probably should be lower on the list, honestly. I'm not the biggest fan of Kid Cudi. Can't deny some of the influence he's had. Uh, I'd probably put him a little bit lower on the list. Slim Shady. I'm a rapper, I'm Slim Shady. I really don't like Eminem. This is probably my favorite Eminem album I've heard, though, even though it's really not the biggest fan of Eminem. But, I mean, yeah, of course he's going to be on the list. Uh, Vince Staples, Summertime 06. I mean, I like Vince Staples, but... I mean, this being like top 100 all time, eh, I don't know about that one. Damn, some rap songs. That's surprising that's on here. I just wasn't expecting seeing this at all. So, I mean, the fact that it's on here is surprising, but uh, should definitely be higher though. Let's be real. Watch the, th watch the throne. Are you fucking kidding me? This is like one of, one of Kanye's worst albums. Let's be honest. You could, you could put, where, where's the rest of Kanye's? Like, we're probably not going to see, like, Graduation on here. We're probably not going to see Donned on here. Like, Don does better than Watch the Throne. We're probably not going to see Life of Pablo. I mean, what about College Dropout? What about Late Registration? I probably already said Graduation, but, like, so much of Kanye West's, like, discography washes Watch the Throne. Watch the Throne's, like, really mid, bruh. Really? This, this, is, this is the one you want to go through? Like, you can only pick so many, like, Jay-Z and Kanye West albums, right? Like, you can't fill this list up with them. And this is what you choose? This is, like, some of the worst work, dude. Megan the, Sta Megan the Stallion? We're talking about the best rap albums of all time, not the last decade. I mentioned that earlier when they put Lil Nas X and Ray Schremert on here. Like, if you want to put this on here, put them back towards 200, dude. Three Six Mafia Mystic Styles. Okay, that's a good pick, although this should be earlier. Should at least... Crack top 50, dude. Come on. Operation Doomsday. All right. Uh, if this is on here, then we better see mm, food. Damn. I mean, yeah, I get uh, They probably love uh, Kendrick. Not surprising. But I mean, we better see Good Kid Mad City and T-Pab like higher than this. BC Boys License to Ill. It's a decent pick. Got some no name. Okay. Although uh, Telephone is better. Let's be honest. Migos culture. Migos is better than License to Ill. Better than Operation Doomsday. Better than 3-6 Mafia Mystic Styles. I feel like Migos is better than all of that. I mean, I can't deny like the influence Migos has had, but I mean, put them back towards like 100, dude. College Dropout. Decent pick, although let's be honest, this should probably be like top five. The Roots. That's another great pick here. Though. That, that should also be higher on the list. Both of these should crack top 50. 
Not having them top 50 is a bit of an insult. Jay Dilla Donuts. That's a decent pick. Call me if you get lost. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I fuck with Tyler, but we're at the top 50 all time now. Like, if this is at 46, then we better see, like, Igor and Flower Boy later in this list. Liquid Swords? Liquid Swords is decent. I think that's a good spot for it, honestly. Late Registration? Probably my second favorite uh, Kanye album after College Dropout. The Carter 3 is more Lil Wayne, okay. Lil Wayne should definitely be on this list somewhere. I'd probably swap uh, Carter 2 and 3. Shout out Lil Wayne. Good Kid Mad City at 38. Okay, I guess it's decent. Acid Rap? Mm, that should probably be lower. Same with Snoop Dogg. Probably also be lower. Chief Keef Finally Rich? What? I'm honestly just a bit more surprised that this is actually on here. I mean, if you wanted to pick a Chief Keef album, you could have picked a better one like Almighty Soul or Back from the Dead 2. But shout out Chief Keef. I mean, he definitely deserves to be somewhere on, on this list. Not the biggest Nicki fan, but I mean, because she should be on here. BC Boys, Paul's Boutique. That's a decent spot for it to be. Tupac, All By, All Eyes On Me. That's probably where it should be. Outcast Equemini. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. Eminem. I guess it's fine. I guess everyone loves Eminem except me. Illmatic at only 24? Bro, Illmatic should be top five, dude. What? I feel like that's like a consensus of like all people in hip-hop. They, they, It's pretty much agreed upon that like Illmatic's like top five hip-hop albums of all time, like no matter who you are. I mean, this album's fine. I mean, rest in peace DMX, but higher over, there, over Illmatic, dude? Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne over Illmatic too? DS2? DS2 over Illmatic? You've lost your mind, bro. They lost their mind. Yeah, Mad Villainy should definitely be higher. I really don't like Jesus that much. It's just them trying to be like, oh yeah, we get it. We get it. Kanye's experimental artistic uh, thing. Yeah, we get it. We're cool. We're hip. That's what it seems like putting putting Jesus this high up on the list. Cardi B. Like if you want to put a girl this high up, swap it with Nicki. Nicki's better than Cardi B, dude. This album sucks balls, dude. Cardi B over Mad Villainy. Well, I mean, over all these albums I just shit on. Over Future DS2. Over Lil... Like, these are all better. DMX is better. Over Illmatic. You're saying Invasion of Privacy is better than Illmatic. They lost their mind. They have lost their mind. Clips should be swapped for positions with the other Clips album. Let's be honest, the other one's better. Drake Take Care. I kind of forgot about Drake. I mean, of course Drake was going to be somewhere up in the top 20 probably. But honestly, a Drake album would never reach anywhere near the top 10 or even a top 11 of my best hip-hop albums of all time. Wu-Tang in the top 10, that's where it should be. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Okay, I mean, that's that's a lot of people's favorite Kanye. Although I definitely prefer a late registration college dropout to uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, but To Pimp a Butterfly should definitely be top five. Like Enemy, okay. Stankonia? At number two, you're saying this is the best Outkast album. Over Equemini and AT Aliens. They done lost their mind. And Biggie at one. t -Pab should be number one. If this is your top five, then put t -Pab at number one then. And yeah, Biggie's good. This is a good album. I'm fine with this being like top ten, but best rap album of all time? This? Nah. Literally none of these are close to being like a 10 for me, like 10 out of 10 rap album. Except for t -Pab. t -Pab is probably like the only 10 out of 10 I have. The rest of these are probably like 8 out of 10s. This list was not good. I'm trying to remember what we missed. I'm like, I'm so upset. I can't even remember what we missed. We didn't get mm food from MF Doom. What else didn't we get? We didn't get like pinata from, from Freddie Gibbs. We got, ban yeah, Freddie Gibbs, Freddie Gibbs disrespect, dude. Don't, this is the only Freddie Gibbs on we got. Bandana out 197. We didn't get atrocity exhibition from Danny Brown. We only had triple X, like at like 140 or something. Call Me If You Get Lost was the best Tyler album. That's what they said. We got no Flower Boy and no Igor. No Lil B. I'm just thinking about that now. No Lil B. Bro, God's Father mixtape should have been like top 40 on here, dude. Hey, everybody. This is Jim Balls. Uh, I kind of thought about some more stuff they missed out on while, while editing. Uh, one that they really missed out on was, I'd say, Death Grips. They really should have thrown in like their favorite Death Grips album somewhere in here. I mean, if you're going to put like Yeezus, like, top 20 on your best hip-hop albums of all time but not include like a single death grips album anywhere else on the list i mean you, you kind of fucked up and honestly a couple other like my uh, recent faves that probably should have been on the list is probably a i probably would have liked to see a billy woods album somewhere on here he's been dropping some awesome stuff recently and honestly a lot of great stuff over the last uh decade or so but 
like I said, that uh, Rolling Stone is probably not the biggest fan of experimental underground recent abstract rap albums. So uh, they added the Makami and the Earl Sweatshirt and they probably thought, yeah, that's good enough. And also uh, another personal fave that I probably would have liked to see is probably a Brockhampton album. You probably could have stuck them in uh, around like the 150 range. Just pick your favorite, like the Saturation Trilogy. I mean, if, we, if you want to talk about like some of the best like recent rap albums, I mean, I think Brockhampton should have been considered somewhere as well as maybe a Billy Woods album. And of course, Death Grip should have been somewhere on this list. Uh, uh, also, in the comments below, leave uh, some other favorites that you thought should have been included. Thanks. This this list sucked balls. Rolling Stone, just make it better next time, dude. Come on.